Hello YouTube. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make fireworks on Macromedia Flash. First of all, you need to open Macromedia and create a new Flash document. Then you want to go to Properties, which is usually down here, but sometimes you may have to go to Window, Properties, Properties, to open it up. Next, you want to change your background to the color you want your sky to be. I usually like the black. And change your frame rate to about 25. That will ensure a nice smooth firework and that is what YouTube uses. Now you want to go to File, Publish Settings, Flash, and change Flash Player 8 to Flash Player 6 because for some unknown reason the fireworks only works on Flash Player 6. Once you have that done you can start on your particle. Um, I usually have nothing for the the pencil you just click on the pencil and click this cross and for the paint bucket I have a this by going to color mixer which is located at Windows color mixer you can um, usually you can change what your particle will look like I have the blue right here set at 100 percent and on this side it's still blue and it's just set at zero percent. Once you have that done, you can draw your particle. You want it kind of small, but still big enough for you to see. Then you want to double. Um, you want to right-click on it, convert to symbol, and type in bang, and then push OK. Make sure it's at movie clip though. Once that done, you want to double-click on it. Um, you want to center it by moving it over using using the arrow keys. You may have to zoom in. And then once that's done, you want to select it, right click, and convert to symbol, and call it particle. And then push OK. And once you have particle done, um, you want to go to properties and type in particle as its instance name. And make sure that it's spelled correctly and that it is all lowercase because the actions is case sensitive. Once you have that done, you want to right click the first frame, go to actions, and copy and paste this down. Don't worry, it'll be off to the side so you can just copy and paste it. Next you want to double click on it ag again. So then it's one, scene 1, bang, then particle. And then you want to right click, convert to symbol, and call this particle 2. And then push OK. You want to center it uh, again to this little crosshair. Zoom in to get the exact location. And then once you have that, you want to put a frame at 15 and move the particle about halfway up the screen. And then go to 30, push F6, and move it about 3 quarters of the rest of the way. Then go to 40, push F6, and then just finish it off. And at 40, um, well, after you highlight everything, create a motion tween between all of it. At 40 you want to go to properties and you may have to select the particle again. Go to color, alpha, and change it all the way down to zero. And then that should be done. And then on 40 again you right click, select actions, and then either type this in or drag and drop it off the side. It's at global functions, timeline control, and then stop just so you can drag and drop and then that should be your fireworks and you can keep on rewatching it and it changes every time and once you have that that's the firework and it's easy to change because all you have to do is go to particle and then change it to whatever you want like 
this and the fireworks are brand new and if you feel like you there aren't enough particles you can always go to double click on bang go to actions make sure you have to, you may have to select the first frame and you can change this number to a bigger number that's telling you how many particles there are and there are just more so I hope that helps and bye